Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. This week we have boats, we have Japanese buildings and we have a Dr. Chirpy. These can only be seen on one show. That's it guys, it's the weekly asset roundup. To keep things off this week we have King Leno and his distribution centre office. The model itself is a very unusual shape compared to what we've seen in the past, particularly Avanya's distribution buildings. But what I love best about this is the little corner section where you can pass, as you can see in the pictures on King Leno's workshop, have a train line going through there or it just opens things up a little bit. And for me personally, this is the perfect building to clip into another warehouse of some description. It just has that great sort of front entrance look and yeah, it's beautiful. Also released this week has been a distribution centre which I believe has just been a retextured version of Ivania's so apologies if that's wrong let me know in the comments below but a great versatile model to go with Ivania's. Up next we have this fascinating office block from Japan by the one and only Ronix. The build itself is the Tamuakama office. No idea if I pronounced that right but look at it. Absolutely fantastic. Modeling as always top notch, detailing exceptional and the nighttime view is absolutely outstanding. I really like the idea that asset creators are now using these windows where it imitates um, something inside them rather than just a bright light. Sticking to the Japanese theme we have Hakuya with these Japanese cities offices. Now personally I don't have a lot of experience with Japanese buildings and sort of architecture but this building itself I think we can get away with in a lot of different locations. It gives that sort of modern vibe with the colour of bricks used and the windows themselves so certainly a great asset that we can add in a variety of locations. There's only one downside to this model and it is what I would say as the nighttime view. The windows aren't imitating much light at all but the actual model itself in the daytime makes up for that. Carrying on with the modern feel, we have the Eco Offices by Honka. Now these are very, very nice buildings, extremely tall, houses a lot of people. The grass on the top is a little bit on the bright side, not too sure if that changes with different LUTs, but a very unique building itself. Not sure I'd want to be eating on that roof though with no protection or barriers around me, but the nighttime view looks exceptionally good and will be great on any skyline. Up next we have a newcomer to the scene. It's Paul J. Chris with this beautiful USA One Boulder Plaza East Rico build. And what I love about this building is it's so detailed and the construction of it itself, the actual model is so unique. It's not very often you see buildings with this many different shapes and well a lot of work has clearly gone into this and I really do like the versatility of the actual model itself. The model itself is quite a large size it's 12 by 4 and well nighttime views we're not let down by that at all are we look at that fantastic on the distance. Next we have one of two boats this week and it's a 1940s cargo steamer prop by Geometry. I love this model, so unique and the good news is we're also getting a vehicle version very very soon so keep your eyes open on the workshop. Now in my opinion there's always been a lack of nice boats, certainly yachts on the workshop but not now, Mick Crosshill is here and he is creating a number of amazing yachts. This one in particular is a 130 foot super yacht and I believe there's more to come, bigger and better. But the detail of these yachts are fantastic and even a lot of work being put into the nighttime view as well. So these will really light up your harbour or marina. Fantastic work. We look forward to more from Mick. Up next we have Tokashi and his Tokyo Sky Tree, which is an actual building based in Tokyo. And if you look at the building on Google Maps, it absolutely towers over the surrounding city and that's again how this will be well how it will look in your own city it's an absolutely huge building certainly one that will tower from a very long distance 
Fantastic light usage as well, it's an overall fantastic model. Armesto returns to the workshop contribution this week with the Lucas House 16 and what I love best is it's been dedicated to Mr P Delmo. Beautiful modelling, I love the detail and the texture and the graffiti on the side, absolutely fantastic and look at that little logo for P Delmo, even got a tree in the window. Next we have Darth with his One Detroit Center. Now this is a very large building and it's based on the real model in Detroit. Now this skyscraper is 43 stories high and it will provide 4,500 workers with a job. So despite being a Rico building it's also a great one to add into a very busy city. And personally for me I love the brickwork on the front of here, look at that, absolutely beautiful. Love the different textures. And it's not a weekly asset rounder without some sort of foliage and this week we have been blessed by Mr Mason's Canary Island Date Palm version 2. These look absolutely beautiful. Now not only does it look realistic in terms of the leaves but one thing that has been an issue in the past with other palm trees is the bark and this bark looks extremely realistic. Another week, another return of Exurbanate, and this time a traditional storefront. So this is a very default looking building in terms of you can add your own custom signs to it. It's overall just a great asset for a plain simplicity building which you can make look anything you want really. Up next we have Koznak with Too Many Shapes Procedural. Now taking advantage of the new what we call game changing mod, these shapes are ready to be used, just add your textures and you can then use the mod to create whatever you want shape wise and there's a great variety here to get you starting. Last but not least this week we have my favourite of the week, Los Geckos Conway Pharmacy. The model itself reminds me very much of a small town or village pharmacy and as always the texture levels are of the greatest values and well what I love best is the attention to detail we have a little Dr Chirpy in the window and I'm always up for those little puns so fantastic work and it's good to see creators having a laugh too. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.